The iPhone 13 Pro Max is an enthusiast perfect iPhone, but after testing all of the new models, the Pro Max is the hardest one for me to recommend. Last year's iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max had clear differences between the two models, with a reason to buy the bigger phone as the specs were different. However, this year, both models feature the same camera, 120Hz ProMotion display, and software features. The only difference is the physical size and battery life, making me question the purpose of the iPhone 13 Pro Max and whether it's now just the biggest and most expensive iPhone that people buy to show off with. This iPhone could have had huge potential, but there are no functional advantages to the larger display. Take a look at this Apple News article on both Pro models. The text size is exactly the same on both iPhones, but the Pro Max fits only a couple of extra characters onto a line and has no impact to the overall reading experience and layout. You can't even turn this app to landscape to take advantage of the phone's extra length. The same is true for email. The text scales the same across both devices, meaning the larger screen doesn't really make reading text any easier as we are led to believe. The only time the larger Pro Max was better was inside of the Notes app and reading document attachments. The extra text that fitted onto the bottom of the display reduced the amount of scrolling. The home screen is also underutilized. You can't fit any more icons than on the iPhone 13 mini, which is kind of ridiculous. Apps are fixed to the same grid with no custom Pro layout and are enlarged, making them appear to be quite huge. And that's fine for my dad with his old eyes who needs huge buttons so he clicks the right app, but for a Pro who needs the best of the best, there's kind of nothing here for you. There isn't even any form of split screen multitasking exclusive to the larger Pro Max. The new 120Hz ProMotion display is tremendous. The new iPhone 13 Pro models have a two times faster display over previous 60Hz screens, and everything feels way faster and smoother than ever before. And hopefully when more games and apps become optimized, we will see more benefits of the higher refresh rates. The coolest thing about the ProMotion is that it's adaptive, so the screen will adjust its refresh rate depending on what's happening currently on your phone. This helps increase the overall battery life. You do have to give praise to the iPhone 13 Pro Max battery life. It's incredibly impressive. And this is where I can recommend the Pro Max over the Pro. If you are a business professional, the Pro Max is the only iPhone that you should consider purchasing. And that's because of its incredible battery life. If you receive a ton of calls during the day, and I don't mean just quick four or five minute calls, like 45 minutes to an hour, this is the phone to go for because it just churns all of that out. Additionally, if you commute a lot with work, you're on trains and planes, this iPhone's going to give you the best TV experience. So if you have a bit of downtime and you wanna watch some Netflix, Apple TV, stream some sports, this is the phone to get because you have the larger display, it's extremely bright, and overall quite a nice experience compared to any of the other iPhone 13s available. However, there is a trade-off as expected with the larger battery, and that is weight. This iPhone is pretty heavy. And unfortunately, the three camera design at the rear of the iPhone Pro Max doesn't really help with this because those also add quite a bit of weight. If you're in the market for buying one of the Pro iPhone 13s, I would highly recommend disregarding the iPhone 13 Pro Max unless you need its crazy battery life performance. And you should seriously consider saving a bit of money and just picking up the iPhone 13 Pro because this can do everything the Pro Max can do but in a much more friendly form factor. It's lightweight, fits in your pocket better, and it's also easier to use one-handed. If you want to see my full video unboxing all of the brand new iPhone 13s and my thoughts on all of the new camera features, check out this video next.